Hi, Steve here. Welcome to this tutorial on our Fortune in 4 bot. Now, this is a, a different bot in that we've had in the last 23, 24 bots. This one here, we are looking at using it on a daily basis. So, basically, when you close the bot, all bets that have been placed and haven't been actioned will be wiped and it will start again. So keep that in mind when you're betting in this and uh, we're talking quaddies, doubles, trebles and if you're not sure what they are there's a separate video that we'll do on on them and explain exactly what they are. So let's start and have a look at the bot. First of all we have the tabs up here. We have um, five tabs and they are the settings, results, scheduled bets, which are the quality bets that we've got coming up, logs. Now, the logs are important because it tells you if something's happening or you don't get a bet on, why don't you get it on? In the log, it will tell you why uh, a bet has not been placed. And current bets, that will tell you the bets that are actually in play at, at that time. They will also show up down below here. There's only one line showing here now, but as you put more bets on, uh, more lines will appear. So we've got the settings and on the left hand side here are the markets. Now it does all the markets in Betfair. And uh, I must stress if you are going to be using this say race by race sort of thing, then it pays to have uh, any programs that are running in the background that are not necessary, not necessary to turn them off because it does use a bit of memory when it's getting uh, opening um, different markets and that. And uh, to jump between horse racing and greyhounds, you're looking at a bit of a lag depending on your internet speed. So um, what I might do here, I'll just click on horse racing, today's cards, and you can see that now that it's loading. Uh, I've got uh, Camtasia, which I'm doing this video on, so it takes a little bit to load up. But now we can see all the races here. These are all the horse races in time order. So if we were going to put um, a bet on this just uh, while we're doing this tutorial, if we click on whatever race we click on now, we're clicking on here, Riverton in New Zealand, you can see this race here. Now, when we come over here to get our selection, it will always relate to the race that you've got sitting here in the middle. So if I click the sort button, you'll see that it brings it in favorite order. And what we can do here is we'll just do a working demonstration. There's two, uh, three minutes to go uh, before this race starts. But what we can do here in the selections is we can select the horse or we can select this position in the market down to eighth favorite. So if we have a look here, we'll say we'll take the first favorite and the price will take us between one and 20 pre-play. So always use it in pre-play and we're looking at 20 seconds the reason we use 20 seconds is in time to get the bet on, especially if you're betting under the Betfair minimum, you need a bit of time up your sleeve. Minimum amount matched is 5,000. Now the minimum matched amount is in, a, uh, is in the currency of your uh, Betfair account. So if you're uh, in England and got a Betfair account and you put 5,000 in there, it would mean 5,000 pounds. If you're in Australia, put 5,000, it's 5,000 Australian. If you're in um, Europe and you put 5,000 in there it's 5,000 euros whatever your account is in uh, keep is the action we want to play we've got keep cancel or place SP a minimum run is 6 maximum 15 you can change to what you like now the first leg stake here I've got here is 50p or 50 cents the default stake means if the first leg doesn't win or what leg doesn't win, then it will still place a stake uh, of 50 cents or P, whatever you've got as the default stake. If the leg previous wins, the default stake doesn't kick in. And delta stake is just some extra profit. I'm putting 20, 20 cents or 20 P. That won't kick in until after the first leg of the quaddy. Now reinvest profit, if you click that and reinvest profit, so if I put a hundred percent it will only reinvest the profit of the next uh, the profit into the next leg it will take the stake out okay so we'll just leave it like that for this video 
it's getting close to kickoff time. And now if I click Schedule Quaddy Bet, we get the pop-up saying the bet's been scheduled. And if we come up here and look at Scheduled Bets, we can see there now that we're on the first favourite in this Riverton race. Okay, so that, that will be actioned in the next three seconds. We will see that happen. Okay, there it is, and our bet has gone to Zambezi Zipper, which is the favourite. We can see there at 385. And it's put the bet on for the stake of the first leg stake is 50p. Let's just use p. It's 50p, and the price we got is 3.85. Okay, so that race will jump soon. It'll go green here when it jumps. If we go now into leg two, for example, leg two, and uh, we'll say we'll look at the next race, which is a little while off. Uh, we won't do the American racing. I don't like the American racing. Um, if we look at this Warnable race, click to sort. We can see there they've got a pretty hot favourite. We'll just put that favourite in. First favourite. And you can see now, because it's on second leg, the first leg stake is greyed out. And we've got the default stake of 0.5. Now we can change that. Um, because what happens when you record the bet, it's recorded at what you have in here at the time. So if we make the default stake now 1, so that 1 pound or 1 dollar, so that means if our first bet on Zambezi Zipper doesn't win, um, in the second leg it will place a stake of 1 and the delta stake of 0.2. Okay, so if we just schedule that now, Okay, and we look at our schedule best. We can see now in Quaddy 1, we have in Leg 1 the first favourite, which has been matched. And then we have Leg 2, Quaddy 1, Leg 2, we have in Warrigal the first favourite again, and that's active. Okay, so I just wanted to jump ahead there, so we've got a live version running in the background while we talk. We'll go back to Riverton. Here's that Riverton race. We can click on sort. Doesn't look Zambezi zippers are way down here. Okay, so if we carry on while this race is being run, we'll come back to it. The wallet tells you how much is in the wallet, how much is uh, in the wallet after the, if there's any bets outstanding. You can see there's a 50p difference. And we've got here the profit is zero, it'll always start at zero each day you start because you start afresh. Okay, so if we look here now, commission, whatever commission, this is um, working out so that it knows how much to put on the next bet, so the commission there is for recording, etc. Okay, so the sort button, I'll just show you as I said before, if we go into this race here, the sort button brings the favourite to the top. So it's uh, if you're using it, you can use it by race by race. You don't have to put all your bets in at once. You can um, do, for example, uh, you could go to Quaddy, you could do Quaddy 1, Leg 1, make the selection, wait for that race if you wanted to, wait for that race to be run, find out uh, the result, and then put on your next leg, or you may decide to split the winnings um, and start a new start a new quaddy and put half the winnings on one horse and half on another horse. That's the thing with Fortune of Four is it is a tool. So it's a tool for using how you want to, but it, it allows you now to start compounding wins, compounding profits, um, etc. So that is the good thing with this. It's a tool to use Betfair in a compounding thing. Like if you bought our compound magic or compound magic pro from us you would have seen the power of compounding and now we're just doing it automatically okay let's see what happened in that race at um, Riverton if we go to the results okay we had a winner there Zambezi Zipper won so we can see our, our match stake was 50p the price was 3.85 and our profit was 1.36 so if we go back here to Quaddy 2, well, let's look at our schedule, but in Quaddy 2 
we've got um, the first favourite. So in quaddy two and leg two, sorry, quaddy one, leg two, we'll be we'll be putting a hundred percent of our profit. So we will be putting the one point three six into the next bet. And because it was a winning bet, the default stake will not kick in. The default stake um, is one, but it won't be in play because it, it was a, the first leg was a winning leg, so the default stake is not applicable. And the profit delta stake is 20p. So if we look at back at our results, it'll be 1.36 plus 20p will get put into the second leg when it's run, when it's run shortly. Um, I'll stop the video if we uh, stop the video, and then I'll show you that race a little bit later. So we can see. Our, uh, just lost my train of thought. Okay. Un unmatched bets. If there's any bets unmatched, they will show here. Okay, so what happens is you've seen how I put it on the bets. So if we were going to say do Quaddy 2, um, Quaddy 2, always start off at leg 1. And uh, and then whatever race, remember whatever race is in here. So if we go to, so if we go to this uh, American race, you can see there's 40, 48 pence or cent, uh, 48 pounds in the race or 48 dollars. So it's not worth it. The next one here, uh, it's a little bit better. There we are. We've got um, 23,000, nearly 24,000 dollars. So click on the sort. Very even field, you can see there. Look at that one, two, three, four, five horses. Five horses all under 10, and only the outsider is at 12. But just for an example, Quaddy 2, leg 1, the selection, once again, we'll use the first favourite, we'll let the market decide. And uh, this is the first leg, so we've got 50p again. Uh, in this one here, though, what we'll do is we'll change that and we'll put 100%. We're investing 100% return, so that means we've used 50p in the first leg. If it wins, then the winnings plus the first leg stake will go into the second uh, into the second leg. Okay, so we push schedule quaddy, and there's our schedule bet there. Quaddy to leg one. Okay. Now the thing is, they're called quaddies because they allow you to do four legs in each quaddy, right? But you may only want to do a double, which would be quaddy one, leg one, leg two. So you may only want to do two horses that you think can win or be placed. You can use this for place betting as well. So because it, just because we're using it 14 and 4, you can do double up, triples, or four in a row. It's up to you. Four in a row really escalates the um, uh, the profit, so you can afford to. You saw on the sales page there, one starting with a two dollar bet, ending with if I'd gone through the four legs, 122 profit. So it's a massive return on a small outlay, and that's the potential you've got. Or you may want to go um, favourites. You might want to do the first favourites in the place market. You know between. 1.3 and 1.6 and just compound it like that that's all um, what you can do but let's just reiterate the stake settings here leg one whatever you put in this leg one will only be used on the first leg of of a quaddy it won't continue on the default stake whatever you put on there if the previous leg fails that will be the extra money that will be coming into play so if leg one won, then the default stake for leg two does not apply. If leg two fails, leg three will start with a default stake only. Now the reason we're doing this is because if you want to decide to put in four legs and go away, then if your first leg wins, your second leg falls over and your third leg wins, if you were just compounding in that without a default stake, you would have no bets on You'd have no bets on the third one, only your delta stake. So it would only be, you know, a small amount. So 
that's why we use the default stake so that if one horse fails you and the other ones win, you're still in the game. Delta stake, as I said, it's added to um, your second, third and fourth legs. You don't have to put anything in there, but it's just extra profit. If we look at reinvesting profit, it's the profit minus your stake. So if we click that, and you can put 100%, 50%, 10%, 20%, whatever you want. And uh, reinvesting uh, return is the whole amount of money, including your stake, is being ripped. So you're doubling it, you're, you're not doubling it, you're putting all your winnings from one leg into the next leg. Um, and then you can wait, and then on the you might want to do on the third leg, say on the last leg, you might only want to reinvest 50% of your profit or 50% of your return. So if your third, fourth leg falls over, you've still got some money from your, your first three winning legs or your. You know, if, if you're doing a double, you might want to do just a quaddy, so we look at quaddy leg three, leg one, quaddy leg three, leg one. You might put down, if you're going to do a double, you might put a $10 or £10 stake for the first leg, and then you might put reinvesting return of 50%. So if the first leg wins, you keep 50% of the money, and 50% goes into the second second horse for the second leg. You may, as I said, you may only be doing the double, so it's up to you. Okay, now the important part is the scheduled bets here. We've got settled. This one's been settled. Don't cancel any any quaddy series that's still in progress. But for example, if you've had like quaddy leg two, leg one, and it say it's already run and it's lost. And you want to free it up. This is where you cancel the quaddy bets. So, in order during the day, if you want to reuse quaddies, you've got to come down here and cancel cancel the bets. Because, for example, quaddy bet one, leg one, we know one Zambezi zipper one. So that quaddy is still running because then we got quaddy one, leg two coming up in Warrnambool. So. They will stay as scheduled bets and you can see them settled and all that. In order to free up the quaddies, again, you have to cancel. You have to go in and cancel the quaddy bets. So like leg one, quaddy, quaddy one, leg one, cancel, quaddy one, leg two, cancel. And that will free up the bet, free up the quaddies for you. Okay, so how you use it is totally up to you. But you have got... Um, you could do a quaddy, quaddy one, leg one on a horse and then you might have a, a team playing later in the day. For example, a, in football, you might want to bet that as your leg two. You can mix and you can match them. The other thing... The other important thing uh, when you're looking at here and default stake is you might have, say, quaddy one, leg one to run at, say, nine o'clock. And then at ten past nine, you may have um, quaddy one, leg two to run. Now, in the meantime, the, the, leg one, the first leg race at nine o'clock is delayed by ten minutes. So it's going to start the same time as your leg two bet is going to start. What happens then? The default stake will come into play. So even though leg one hasn't been run and decided, leg two doesn't get uh, ignored. It actually runs with the default stake. Okay, so your second leg will still run at 9.10 and may actually finish, may actually finish before your leg one, but you still have some money on that leg two stake. Okay, so that's when the default state also kicks in. If one of the previous legs has not yet been run or resulted, the next following leg, leg will still be bet. Now, in order to understand that, it's um, I've been playing with it for a week, so I've got the hang of it. But start small. You, you can start with 10p or, or 20p and that. And just see exactly how the bot works and see in your log files, if we go to the log files, it will tell you why bets aren't made, etc. It's all there 
in the log files. So learn how to read the log file and uh, it will make your life a lot easier. Um, it may be because you've got your the minimum maximum wasn't met or runners in the field uh, wasn't met, for example. You know, all these sort of things. There's always a reason why the bet's not placed and you can read that in the log file. Current bets, we haven't got any. So I'll just stop this and come back when we've got when these other couple of races are being run. Okay, this race in America is just um, just about to happen. So you can see down here at the bottom, uh, we have got River Shack, which is the favourite, and we can see there now. Remember how they were all pretty close together? We can see River Shack now has taken um, the favourite uh, spot, and it's our bet for Quaddy Leg Two. Uh, sorry, Quaddy Two Leg One. Okay, so. The American race is notoriously known for running late, running slow, running up, not not being run, um, and then the results taking forever. So, anyway, that's that one. River Shack's on, and we'll come back shortly and see what happened there. And also waiting for that Warrnambool race two, which is a uh, Warrnambool race one, which is a hurdle. One other thing while we're waiting is how come that now we've got six point eight eight. When we opened the bot, the profit was zero, as you remember. But if we look at my results here, you can see here the results now. The cumulative profit is 6.88, which is what is reflected now. Okay, so that's why it's gone from zero up to 6.88, because it's reflecting the current accumulated profit since I've had the, this version, which is 28 bets I've had this version running um, as you can see, we've had 12 versions to get to this one now. Also, the software manual, if you click on that, it takes, this, takes you to all our manuals and you can find the manual on this bot, plus this video is on here if you click software manual. Log out is to log out of your account and here is all of our bots. If you want to get involved in some other bots, you can click on here. So, uh, back shortly. Okay, it looks like uh, our, our Stacks River didn't do much good in that one. So, if we go back to the schedule, Stacks River was Quaddy 2, Leg 1. So, what we'll do now, we'll make a, another, we'll go to put a second leg on Quaddy 2. So, if we go back to the settings, Quaddy 2. Now, just for example, I'll try and put one in leg one and I'll show you what happens. So we go to leg one and we put on here and we schedule the bet and it'll tell us we've already got a combination used there. Okay, so we can't use that. We'll put another uh, bet on, um, we'll go to that Warrigal race, Warrnambool race, sorry, sort. And we'll, Quaddy two, leg two, we'll put in the second favourite. Okay, so you can see their leg one's greyed out. So in this race here now, the default stake of one will take over. And uh, we'll see what happens here. So we'll schedule this bet. So the bet has been scheduled. And if we have a look at our scheduled bets now, we can see there the second favourite for Quaddy 2, leg 2. And if we have a look, we're just about one minute to go. So I'll just explain a couple other things. Now the thing with this is you can do, you can set all your bets up in a row. So you could go, you might want to do doubles for the day. So you could do quaddy one, leg one. Um, you could use uh, the favourite, for example. Quaddy two, you could use the second favourite. Quaddy three. You could use the third favourite, Quaddy 4, you could use the fourth favourite. And you might want to put different amounts, like Quaddy 1's got the favourite, you might want to do a starting stack of 5, 4, 3, 2, as you go from first favourite, second, third and fourth. And then of course only one of those will win, or hopefully one of those will win. Then you can look at taking that winning amount, whatever it is, and then clearing the Quaddies and distributing that win, say you won $40 or 40 pounds, you might want to put 15, oh, just split it up, 
don't have the same amount on each one because um, obviously your odds are going to be better with the favourite. So you want more money obviously on the favourite according to the great Don Scott. So we can see down here, if I just uh, move the camera down a bit here, we can see we've got two bets here now. We've got um, Quaddy leg two, Quaddy two leg two, and if we look at that, we've had we've got the one dollar stake, which we've got here, the default stake of one dollar, and twenty p, which is the delta stake. So we've got one twenty, and on Quaddy one leg two, we have got um, one fifty six. Now, how do we get the one fifty six? we go to the result quality one leg one we got a dollar 36 returned from our Zambezi zipper so a dollar 36 returned so that was a dollar 36 plus plus the 120 plus the 20p so that makes it 156 so we've got 156 uh, stake being put into the quaddy one leg two and that's the favorite valak and then Eckhart is the second favorite so we've got two horses running for us here so this is a, a two mile race so we'll come back when the race is finished and see how we went with our bets um, for this little duration. Up inside of launch time, so Eckhart's got to make his move at the second last now. Zoffany Rocket is sticking to their tails like blue as well as they come to the turn. Their four links to Capazina. A big finish coming up in the opener. Here's the last of the champions, novice. Over goes Eckhart. Velak the big grey in front of him. The two favourites come away. Zoffany Rocket's in third place, trying his heart out. He's a little horse with a big heart though. Velak on Eckhart, then Zoffany Rocket, Velak's the leader, Eckhart's trying hard to peg him back, it's Velak a length and a half, now two, yes Velak's got it one, he's two from two at this caper, he's darn good, Velak wins the opener on Grand Annual Day, the Hammonds Pates, champions novice by two and a half to Velak and little Tommy, Eckhart was brave, so was Zoffany Rocket a distant third from Marzaz, then Cattle, he just uh, lost his rider at the first. Okay, as you just saw that there, our horses ran first and second. So basically what happened is Valak, which was the second leg of our first quaddy, was successful. So we got uh, 140 profit from that one. And Eckhart, Brave and Defeat, our, was our quaddy leg two. Quaddy two, leg two, and that went down and we lost 120 on that. So... Since we started, um, we started here at uh, the, at the day, five fifty two, and um, we've made a dollar for our for our bets, our four bets that we've had. Not a lot, but we uh, still got obviously quaddy two, quaddy one leg two is still running for us. So that's that uh, one forty will be reinvested. Um, plus some more stake so we've still got one going for us now now that uh, quaddy two has finished for us really if we look at here quaddy two uh, we had a had a loss and we had a loss on uh, leg two so we can go through so we wanted to clear up quaddy two now we go to down here to quaddy two leg one cancel leg two cancel if we go back to schedule bets now, we can see that they've gone and we can now use Quaddy 2 again. Okay, so that is how it works. If we um, just had a look at, if I go to the results there, we can see there in Quaddy 1, uh, we made 136 on Zambezi Zipper, uh, 140, so we made two, 276 on the first two legs. And that was using 50 cents, um, 50 cents, and uh, also our 20p. So we've uh, for 70 cents we've made two, two, nearly 280 uh, on 
two favourites. One of them very short, one of them a three to one. Okay, so thanks for watching this tutorial. Hopefully it gives you an idea now. As I said, Fortune on 4 is a tool, a very handy tool. Um, and it uh, it can be used many ways, doubles, triples or quaddies. You can do it one by one as you go. You can stop quaddies and split the dividend and restart a new quaddie uh, distributing the dividends if it gets too high. And uh, you don't need very many successful quaddies to, to make a, uh, a good profit. Even, even using low priced horses in the place market you can just after I finished that the video I'm tacking this on now it's because in quaddy one leg three I went back to New Zealand on flying sardine and that so that was our third leg of that first quaddy and flying sardine won so it put three dollars sixteen in at three point four and you can see there the profit was seven point two for flying sardines. So if we look at the profits now, we're looking at 270 for leg one and leg two, 270. We're looking at ten dollars for those three legs now, and we started off with that fifty cent bet and we added two lots of twenty cents. So we've taken a fifty cent bet. Uh, so in fact we've spent ninety cents to get our ten dollars return so on quality three, quality two and quality one. So it just shows you the power. Now what I could do is we we're, going, we're going to be having like ten um ten dollars on the net on quality four if we wanted to if we if I want to go to quality four again leg uh leg four or I can just stop that quality and split split the two fifty over four new quantities or I just take the money which is what I will do. I'll just take the money and uh call it quits for quaddy one and we uh, go on from there so you can see there now we just turned 90p or 90 cents into 10 pounds 10 dollars thanks for watching this and uh, i hope you have as much fun as i've had testing this steve signing off wishing you all the best